Hi, this is Dean from GolfAllYear.com and I'm here to review the OptiShot 2 Golf Simulator. And this simulator is a great budget simulator, runs about $300. Uh, you can get that um, on my website, GolfAllYear.com. Uh, and it is a wonderful starter uh, simulator for those trying to break 80. And so if you really want to break 80, uh, this is where you want to start. And it has some great features. We'll go over some of the good uh, the good things and we'll also talk about some of the things that uh, um, I wish were, were a little different uh, and so you can see this is my golf setup I have my golf impact screen um, I've talked about how to build this so I can uh, go over how to build it uh, in another article but you can see my impact screen here is my stance mat and the golf simulator is right here there are 16 sensors in the simulator uh, the green light says that it's good to go. Uh, I have purchased a um, thicker turf top, and I highly recommend the thicker turf top. In fact, I did a whole article um, on the thicker turf top and why it's important uh, to have it. It really gives you a better feel. Um, you can also see I have my ball retriever, uh, which is another useful thing. Uh, the OptiShot 2 simulator connects with a USB cord. Uh, I put my USB cord back into here. Uh, into my computer. I've connected my projector. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would uh, have a short throw projector. Uh, but for a, on the budget, this is, is just fine. And so uh, this is the software. You download the software onto your computer and then you plug it in and you begin. Okay, and so let's go through how you get to the driving range and then I'll talk about some of the features and some of the functions. All right, so when you get the software downloaded on your computer, uh, what I like to do is um, I like to go to the player practice section. Uh, you can also sign up for their mini tour. They have a mini tour and a, a pro tour, which is competing for uh, prizes online. Um, I am going to have a um, look into that at some point. Um, and then you click, I'm going to go back here a quick sec. Okay, you can click to play a game or you can practice. Uh, also over here, uh, you have some save games if you, you played a game. Uh, you can manage your player. This is uh, where you might start. Okay, you can see there's my player, right-handed. Uh, I can edit my player. Okay, I like to use the par three tees and we'll, I'll talk a lot about that on my website uh, about using the par three tees and why I like to do that. Um, or improving my game uh, and so you can go to practice or play a game and so let me show you what the practice looks like uh, it's kind of neat you can go to the driving range or you can go to an actual course uh, these are all the courses they have um, on the OptiShot 2 there's tons of courses you can purchase it comes with uh, I believe certain ones uh, certain packages come with 15 courses um, and you know the, the courses are nice to, to have some variety uh, they kind of replicate uh, real courses but let's take a look at the driving range this is my favorite place to, to work in practice okay you can see that it starts to go here okay and you can see that now uh, this is the driving range this is the the tees right here over on this side you can line up and and see uh, the different tees. This is the white tee, the green, okay, uh, is 177, the white is 123, the blue is 233. Uh, also, little known, you can also adjust the, which I kind of like the feature, you can adjust where the tee is. This, if I click right here, you'll see that it moves it to uh, 151 yards, so I can change the distance to the to the um, hole uh, by just doing that um, so let's start out here put it on to the um, 123 yards um, you can preset your clubs to different le uh, different distances uh, the, on average and so they'll kind of select the club for you uh, all you have to do to select a club also is you can go uh, up and down we'll select a club and go to any club I want 
and let's say I say pitching wedge. You can also choose, and, and you can see I put mine at a lower um, ball flight. Some people, I've had friends in here who we need to put it at a high ball flight, and so it kind of simulates the ball flight. Uh, you can also adjust the wind. Um, there's all kinds of adjustments over here. You can see uh, in the settings and options, you can uh, change what is displayed. You can change some of the graphics. You can change the weather from calm to a light breeze to strong breeze. That's a very cool feature. Um, change the speeds of the greens and things like that. Um, I kind of keep it pretty basic. Uh, this is one of the best features of the OptiShot. It's the um, driving zones. And you can see that on the greens, they have different distances. Okay, we have 15 feet, 30 feet, 23 feet, uh, 23 yards, and then outside 23 yards. And so you can actually uh, set your distances uh, and, or uh, try to hit within inside those rings. You can also do, if you're driving, you can do fairway lines. And so you can see if you're hitting the ball straight or not. Okay, uh, this is kind of my favorite right there. Um, and so that's the driving range portion of it. Uh, very helpful and very useful in, in uh, uh, I love the, the driving range. Okay, and then if we go back, we can see we can go to practice and play. Uh, to play a game, we can play a game. You can click on any of the ones that you have purchased. You can pick the number of players you want. Okay, so let's play for the links here. Click on it, it loads, and then uh, you'll be able to play. Now, I, like I said, I play from the par 3 tees, so all my holes will be par 3s, so I can really hone in my iron game. Um, as I see, they give you an aerial view of the hole right here. And then there's the first hole. It's a pitching wedge. Um, you play it from the par 3 tees. You can see that you have wind, etc. And um, I have set, you can set the settings on this neat deal you can set your game rules to anything you want uh, you can allow mulligans uh, you can have uh, actually put it out and putt on OptiShot um, manual entry the number of putts that you think you got uh, gimme within a set distance so OptiShot will figure out what um, you get how many uh, putts you think they did uh, and it auto putt within a set distance. I put it at 60 feet here, so it'll automatically putt for me and give me um, what they believe is is the right um, score. But you have a variety of options there. Um, and then with the driving range, you can see that there are some statistics that it will calculate. And this is the best part of the Opti Shot. It keeps it very simple. Some simulators have all kinds of different. Uh, swing stats, but I think these are the most important. It keeps it pretty simple with uh, just your average distance, your face angle, and your path, your swing path, and your club head speed, and even looks at your tempo. Uh, it will also tell you, and you can see here, I'll click on different sessions. It will also tell you if you hit it off the toe. So let's go last week. Here are some of my uh, pitching wedge. You look at my face angle was 0.8. Slide inside out, 67 miles per hour. Um, you know, and and that's all from practicing on the OptiShot. Um, that you know, that's all pretty good. Those are all pretty good stats. And using, um, you know, golf all year system, um, and using the OptiShot too, uh, I was able to get some of those stats. Uh, so that's playing in a in a game here. Let's leave the game and let's. I want to show you very quickly. Uh, the a driving range shot and what it looks like actually on my OptiShot. So it'll be kind of dark, uh, but um, we'll take a look at that.